Hello everyone! <laughs> Welcome back to our channel guys. So Jide is not here with us today but he sends his love, had to go to work. So yeah, I'm here for you and I'm going to take us through this um, topic and hopefully you enjoy it all right <laughs> welcome if you're new here and you see my face for the first time I my name is Azine and um, me, I and my husband make videos from our Barter Canada on faith family and our life experiences as new immigrants in Canada we also share useful tips that will make settling down easy for newcomers and intending one so please consider joining the family by hitting on the subscribe button and remember to tap on the bell icon so that you get notified um, whenever we upload a new video so guys Gide sends his love once more and he will definitely be here next time and to my returning subscribers to our returning subscribers thank you guys we salute thank you so much for always coming through for us and we appreciate you and we thank you for your support all right okay so today well i'm going to be talking about an interesting immigration pilot program that i believe i believe a couple of people know about this um and i also think a few people or more, more people don't really know about this um this pathway to relocating to Canada. It is called the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, the AIPP. So um, I'm going to uh, walk you through, um, give you a detailed overview of the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, how it works, um, its requirements, um, the processing time, and much more, okay? So if you're ready, Let's hop right in. <laughs> In 2018, the AIPP aimed to receive 2,500 new immigrants in the Atlantic provinces with agendas to maximize its targets to 4,000 by 2020. Um, initially, the program was launched as a three-year pilot program, um, but later extended until December 2021. So um, I'm just here advising anyone who can to maximize this opportunity now and see how we can, you know, use it as a means to get into Canada this year. The latest update on this is that while the AIPP will be ending in December 2021, um, Immigration Canada is proposing a new and revamped permanent Atlantic immigration stream. Um, that means that they've tried the pilot program and now they want to make it permanent, which is a good thing for us. Um, no one knows what this program will be called or what exactly when exactly it would start um but we know that it would be more revamped hopefully easier and you know more simplified than the pilot program so we this is really something to look forward to okay um applying for the immigration under aipp canada can really prove tricky compared to other programs um this program is focused on skilled workers and foreign nationals who can contribute to the local economy um, of the Atlantic provinces. So it, it is really crucial to take your time while building your application for this program and to really start sooner so that you can meet the eligibility criteria adequately, okay? So let's get started. Before we get started, we're just going to, I'm just going to, why do I keep saying we? Where's my husband? <laughs> Okay, so before I get started, um, I will just tell you the main, what, what AIPP is all about. Um, AIPP Canada is a pilot project aimed at welcoming well-educated, skilled, experienced immigrants um, to expand the labor population in a region that, that has always you know, struggled to retain locals and attract newcomers. Um, because most locals and immigrants are mainly attracted to the metropolises, you know, such um, as Toronto, Ontario. So uh, the AIPP was launched to attract or invite skilled workers uh, to settle across these smaller communities. For requirements, applicants who receive a job offer from this um, 
from an approved employer can relocate to any of these states um, in the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. As long as they meet the eligibility criteria, they can come. Um, applicants will also need endorsement from the province that you're going to before they can submit their application to the to IRCC, um, the Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Okay. Another requirement is that um, you would have to also have the language proficiency um, assessment done. You would need your education credentials. You would need skills and work experience. Those are just basically the requirements. Um, the, the AIPP requirements um, do not really include an LMIA. Um, rather, the applicant must receive a job offer from a designated employer, like I said before. And you, you guys will also be pleased to know that um, this program is mainly based on um, first come, first serve and not the point-based system that we're used to um, with the Federal Skilled Workers um, Program. So this time around it's first come, first serve. So the earlier you apply, the better, right? So going on, the AIPP particularly offers two programs for skilled workers um, and they are aimed at welcoming international graduates and the other is aimed at welcoming um, experienced skilled workers. So let's get take a closer look to the programs that are available under this um, pilot program. So we have the Atlantic High Skilled Program, that's the number one, AHSP. Um, this program requires that the applicant must have at least one year of full-time or part-time equivalent um, work experience within um, a period of three years at a stretch right so um in their main profession so they have they have to be in their main profession for this period of time um their main profession that falls within the noc of that province okay um management jobs require a skill level zero um, professional jobs um, require skill level a and technical jobs and skilled based traits also re require skill level B. Okay, I don't know if that makes sense. So applicants would also need to perform actions um, in lead statement of the NOCs alongside performing a significant number of, you know, of the main duties in the NOC. So when you're describing your job functions in your, um, your CV or your, yeah, it would show that it falls, your job for sure fall, falls within the NOC and you've been doing this for the past um, three years. Okay, so the, the experience must also be um, paid. So unpaid internships and volunteer positions will not count in this um, regard. And also the applicant could also have worked abroad or in Canada or as a temporary resident. So those guys are also qualified. Um, the applicant must also have a high school diploma or diploma, um, post-secondary um, degree or certificate at least A level in Canadian um, language um, benchmark. Also, we have the number two, which is the Atlantic Immediate Skilled Work Program. It requires that you have worked at least 1,500 hours in the last three years and the hours you know must be in pro in one profession but they can be with different companies and employers okay so that's how it's different from the first one applicants also can calculate calculate their work hours with simple methods they can count all the hours um, you can count all the hours you have worked in full-time and part-time jobs you can calculate all of that um, this also must be paid working hours or paid internships do not count in this case okay so um, moving forward um, work experience is subject to the following conditions okay for noc skill level c the applicant must have a secondary or high school education and training um, that is specific to their job okay applicants can also qualify for the I AISP with uh, work experiences or a higher skill level um, for instance a registered nurse 
or a registered psychiatric nurse ranks at an NOC skill level A, while a licensed practical nurse ranks at an NOC skilled level B. Okay, so the third on the list would be the Atlantic International Graduate Program, the AIGP. Um, applicants can qualify for the AIGP if they meet the following requirements. The applicants must be living in an Atlantic province for a period of 16 months before obtaining their, their academic credentials, degree or diploma. Um, also, the candidate must meet the education AIPP requirements. The candidate must sit for a language test for English or French. Okay, so even if you schooled uh, or you're schooling in those provinces, you still have to take your ILTS um, test. Furthermore, the applicants must have sufficient money to support themselves and their family in Canada. Okay. Those are the basic requirements for the for AIGP. Um, the AIGP does not require any work experience from the applicant. Um, applicants can now apply for AI, AIGP after 24 months of receiving their education um, credentials. Okay, so those just those are just the basic uh, things about how that works. Um, who can apply for AIPP basically? Who can apply? Who is eligible? Who is qualified? Um, the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program offers immigration services to connect two stakeholders basically. And those stakeholders are government approved employers to hire skilled foreign nationals. You see how it works? The AIPP Canada has set different requirements for each of these stakeholders. Um, the requirements for the foreign nationals who are interested in relocating to uh, places like the New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, no no Newfoundland <laughs> and Labrador or the Prince Edward Island can apply for immigration under the Atlantic Canada Immigration Program provided they meet the AIPP requirements. So all of this you can apply provided you meet the requirements that I listed above. A candidate can select um, any one of the following three streams of the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program that I mentioned. Um, the high-skilled worker stream, um, the intermediate skilled worker stream, and international graduates um, stream. Those are the three that are listed. You can select from any of those. There are also, there are numerous online job fairs uh, and overseas events for foreign nationals seeking to uh, seeking job offers to immigrate to Canada. Please always look out for those job fairs um, in those Atlantic provinces. For example, New Brunswick regularly holds overseas events to attract skilled foreign nationals. Um, foreign applicants are strongly, strongly advised to attend these events to learn the lucrative job. It always works. I've had people that are coming over just after COVID through this program, people are getting through. Um, so if you're eligible, you can go through this um, Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, um, attend these job fairs, and you know you might just you might just land a lucrative job that will be that will bring you over here. Um, aside from um, Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, okay, provinces also invite foreign nationals to apply to their provision of mission programs. So apart from this other one, you know, this program is aimed at nominating applicants residing in the province or from overseas to award permanent residents. The eligibility criteria for this program varies and is subject to local um, regulations. These programs include Nova Scotia Nominee Program, we have the New Brunswick Provincial Nominee Program, we have the Newfoundland and Labrador Provincial Nominee Program, we have Prince Edward Island Provincial Nominee Program. So they are independent and apart from the AIPP, they can come in Tibet independently and you know, uh, pick you up. I have come to the end of this video, guys. Um, I know that is a lot of information, but I want you all to just calm down and go through the video and make, do your research. 
uh, because I believe when you listen and re also read up these processes, it will be much more clearer for you. So go through the, the video and then make your research, go to their website, read it up and, you know, take, take a step. Basically, um, I'll be at the comment session waiting for your questions. I will do my best to answer as much as I can. Um, so yeah, that's basically what this program is about. So thank you. Thank you so much guys for staying through and watching to the end of this video. Um, so, 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 so elated and happy, um, to be able to provide this information to you guys. So, um, Keep the questions coming. Keep the comment the comment session uh, busy. Please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Um, please encourage us. Um, we put in a lot of work. We need your encouragement. And yeah, I also see all of your support. Our channel is growing gradually. <laughs> and you know, that gladdens my heart. So thank you so much guys for the constant support. Thank you. I'm going to um, do a video that would help, um, that would further elaborate on how to look for jobs in Canada because uh, I've heard testimonies and I've seen people that these programs have worked for. Um, the, the COVID, the pandemic slowed this part, um, this um, pilot program down a great deal this year. Um, but now that everything is stabilized and everything is coming up gradually, it's, it's picked up again and these provinces are inviting people you know, and you know the issue with age and you know high CRS, CRS scores and high um, English ILTS doesn't really apply in this um, in this uh, pilot program so it is a great opportunity for people who feel that like they're already too old to come in through the federal skilled um, workers program directly so yeah explore this option guys and you may never know if you have successes i would like to hear about it if you have started the process please please let me know and you know as much as i can i can i would answer your questions so yeah thank you so much guys for watching do have a great, great week ahead. And please don't forget to like the video. All right. Bye.